see the other side of this pottery. Guess I'm gonna just have to imagine what that looks like. I have done my best to recreate um, this Ebo um, pottery vase in salt clay. Look. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fork and use the tines of the fork to create a texture on either side of the bridge. So I need to figure out if pressing down would be better uh, and then press up this way oh that works perfect so press okay press down and then flip it and press up that's the smart way to do it so that way um, I could get those little marks in much faster instead of um, doing one at a time. I might go back in and, and touch it up with um, a tool, but right now this fork is really doing it. Okay.
is complex one thing I'm learning is how complex you know people I don't know when I guess it was my um, maybe biases coming out thinking that African art was very simplistic but it really is not they're a lot more three-dimensional which is actually harder than simply painting on uh, an image. Macho, macho man. You got to be a macho. Don't, don't put this in the. Uh, a macho. Don't don't put this in the video. <laughs> I'm singing this song. 